I will discuss NVIDIA's methodology evaluation for completing clock domain crossing sign off by linking the CDC static sign off world and the functional verification world. We use the SIM portal feature in Real Intense Meridian CDC tool to verify our assumptions used during the static sign off and protect our design from metastability issues. Our flow involves using Meridian CDC tool for RTL CDC sign off. We enable the SIM portal feature in the same run which automatically outputs an assertion checkers file that we then plug into our functional verification environment. Each assertion is designed to verify a certain protocol or assumption from our CDC static sign off world. On the protocol side, for data paths, there is a data stability checker at the data crossing to confirm that the transmit data is stable long enough to be captured on the receive side. For control crossings, the assertion checkers file has three elements. Metastability injection checks, which artificially introduce metastability into the design to see if the design is protected against it. Pulse width checks that verify that the width of the control signal is long enough for the data to be captured on the receive side. And gray code checks to verify that the FIFO controls are gray coded. In addition to the protocol checkers, SIM portal also provides checkers for CDC and design constraints used in our RTL CDC flow so that we can cross verify these assumptions during our functional verification. Below is one of the errors we caught with this methodology during our pilot. This waveform shows a scenario where our protocol dictated that the width of the pulse should be held stable for at least 1.5 times the clock period of the receive clock. However, the width of the signal coming into the deep end of the flop was less than one clock cycle. So the pulse at the output of the flop would not have been registered. This helped expose that we had an issue either in one of our test vectors or in our design. In addition to NVIDIA verifying that our design is bug free, we also verify that we are testing the design under the correct conditions. This methodology helps us drive collaboration between two different verification teams and enables NVIDIA to avoid design errors and mismatches in constraint assumptions. Thank you.